Now the question is, will the new PID Plus with the Echelon fit my Dara Holsters belt that I run on the range? Probably not, let's see. And what's up guys, John Q here. So I'm sitting in my living room, just scrolling through YouTube shorts and TikTok. When I hear this knock at the door, and I'm like, who in the world is knocking at my door at 7 p.m.? I look out the window and it's the mailman. But I open the door and the guy goes, we have a package here for Johnny Q from Hollow Sun. And I'm like, Hollow Sun, let's go. I quickly realized that yes, I'm expecting a package from Hollow Sun. So disclaimer for you guys, Hollow Sun did send me some optics and I think a flashlight to make YouTube shorts, to make videos, to try out the products and test them out and tell you guys about them. And here is that package that Hollow Sun sent. But before we get into this package, I wanna tell you guys about this. This ammo that I received a couple days ago by True Shot Ammo. This right here is 545 by 39, and this is 762 by 39 ammo. If you guys couldn't tell, it's for my AKs that I received from Riley Defense. And True Shot Ammo was so kind to supply the AK ammo for future AK videos. And they wanted me to let you guys know that if you ever wanted any kind of ammo from 9mm, 5.56, 223, 50 cal, any obscure ammo that you might think of, they have it and can provide it for you guys. If you're like me and you want all the ammo that you can find and afford, go to the link down below in the description and get yourself all the ammo you can afford. That link below is my unique tracking link, so please make sure to use it if you're going to order some ammo. That way you guys get some ammo from True Shot and I get a little kickback on the back end. I appreciate your support and thank you True Shot Ammo for sending that ammunition. Now, let's get back to the video. We got my little Smith & Wesson knife. Let's unbox this right here. Also, I did put out a video on the 2011 Staccato CS, which I think has been going pretty well. And I gotta say, man, that's probably one of my favorite pistols, like one of my favorite 2011 pistols too to shoot and I man I wish there was an optic on that thing because it would definitely replace my everyday carry that I have right now okay so in the box we have one two three four items okay let's take this out and now we have an empty box don't need that anymore and so this is what we received tonight from Hollow Sun. We have the PID Plus Light. We got the 509T Red Dot Optic. We have the three times magnifier and we have the solo charging rifle shot optic. We have four really cool products by Hollow Sun and I got some really good ideas for all of these right now. So the cool thing about the 509T is when I was a police officer, we went from Glock 17 irons and we ditched those and went to Glock 45s and we put the 509T red dot on our 45s as the optic of choice, which is a really good optic. And for those of you who don't know, the T stands for titanium, which just means it's really well built and you'll have a hard time knocking that optic off and potentially breaking that optic. This is the PID flashlight that goes onto a pistol and the PID stands for positive identification system, which is a unique way of saying it's a weapon light. Actually, I think I want to mount this on a pistol. So let's do that right now. We got this classic box and classic packaging from Hollow Sun. Of course, we got the flashlight, got the charging cable. So on the bottom of the PID Plus light, you open this hood and then you take the battery out. Of course, that white piece of paper that was blocking the charge from the light to the battery is now out and now you can put the battery back in. Once it's in the correct way, close it back up and just screw it back in. Make sure it's righty tighty. There's a tab on the right hand side and also on the left hand side as well. So you can activate the light on both ends. So if we tap it, it turns on, tap it again, turns off. And I believe this is 1000 lumens. It's called the PID plus because it does come with a laser right there. See that little button that says LA? I'm pretty sure that stands for laser. Click that button and it'll activate the laser. And I got the green laser as you can see there. There's also a button on the left hand side, which does the same thing. So you can activate the light and the laser from both sides of the PID Plus, which is kind of cool and it does help a lot. And currently on my Springfield Armory Echelon, I have the TLR H1 by Streamlight, but now we're going to replace it with the PID Plus. And of course I checked that this gun is cleared, safe and empty. But again, I will make sure just for you guys, because I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments just on that. So no mag, it is cleared. No round in the magazine. 
we're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna take off the light here. I always get a little too, too loosey. <laughs> And here's the naked echelon. Looks kind of crazy naked, to be honest. Got the PID plus, and now let's attach it. Oh, yeah, that feels, oh, that looks, that looks pretty BA. I like that already. Okay, make sure that's centered. That's what it looks like with the PID Plus by Holosun. What do you guys think? How does it look? I think it looks pretty tactical. Like maybe even more so tactical than before, but man. Okay, I, okay. So first impressions already, it does add a little bit of weight on the front end of that pistol, you know? I mean, it's not terrible, but I do feel a difference, you know, in my hands already. And yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of weight to that, which isn't bad, but just something to take note of. The actuator on the right side is a little bit tough, not as easy as the Streamlight, but still easier than like a Surefire. Man, because those Surefire X300s are so hard with just one finger to actuate on like, and to flip on one side. You know, if I'm holding the gun the proper way, I can actuate that with my left uh, thumb with ease and it's super easy. So, I mean, not too bad. And the light itself is a nice white light, which is good because some tend to be a little bit more yellow and I don't like the more yellow lights. But still, this is, I mean, yeah, this is a good, this is a good feeling light so far. And to actuate the laser, there's a laser. I will say to actuate the laser on the right hand side with my trigger finger is a lot easier than actuating the light um, actuator, which again, it's not the big of a difference, but still it's like a little click of a button if you can hear it. It's just a little click. Same thing with the left hand side. It's really easy to actuate and turn on and turn off on off, on, off. Yeah, so it's it's not bad. Now the question is, will the new PID Plus with the Echelon fit my Dara Holsters belt that I run on the range? Probably not, let's see. And it does not, unfortunately. Only because the Dara Holster is made for the Streamlight and that's kind of how they make them and that's okay. So we'll have to find a new holster that fits the Echelon with the PID Plus, but maybe it will fit the 6360 Safari Land holster. Let's see, and it does. Mmm, mmm, doesn't really fit. It fits in the fact that it actually goes into the holster, but as far as locking in place, not so much. If I push all the way down, it still won't. I mean, yeah, I'm not, that's too bad. Well, there it is. For some reason that helped. Yeah, so if I just push it all the way in till I hear that click or that locking mechanism takes over and then I can actually take it out of the, the holster, kind of. I mean, even when it's in the holster, I have a hard time actuating that button and that lever. I really have to pull it out. So we will have to try to make do and see if there's a holster that fits the PID Plus. One of the cool things about the PID Plus is that you don't have to change out the batteries when the batteries die. You can take your charger it comes with and literally put it up against here and charge your light. You don't have to worry about extra batteries or bringing batteries with you. You can now just make sure it's charged and you're good to go. So what do you guys think? Have you seen the Holosun PID Plus? Would you get it? Do you have one? And what's your experience? Comment down below. And of course, thank you to Holosun for sending these out for me to check out. And again, if you're looking for all the ammo you can afford and any obscure ammo needs, check the link down below to go to True Shot Ammo. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Yeah, I gotta say, this light, this light laser combo, I mean, big fan. Just got to find the right holster for it. So 